Today, Rosamond, on our one-to-one, we look Hello. at some some bits of our ancient past. And that is where we're going to go. So this, these, will be looking at sort of ancient Britons and just some of the early stuff. And the headline on there is 480,000 years old archaeology site, Boxgrove, West Sussex. And, and that, that bone itself, I think that's a tibia. So if we go through it, fibula, uh, we go femur, fibula, tibia. So that's a leg bone, right? Right. As, as, as opposed to the, um, the humerus, radius and the ulna. You've got to go through it every now and again because you forget it. Yeah, you do forget it. Yeah, so, so every, every time I get the opportunity, so it's a leg bone. So you've got the um, femur here, you've got the um, fibula and tibia. It's a leg bone connected to the thigh bone. Well, yeah, something like that. So anyway, so I wanted to look at this and your know, origins of our ancestors in this, in this country go, go back a very, very long time. So and actually, we found much earlier evidence than 480,000 years ago in Britain. Yeah. Bloody hell. So, um, so. Is that a man or a woman? It's, um, it's a very difficult one, that. Ancient person. Very difficult. Well. Now, that, that is not a, that is not a, um, that is not a homo sapien and it's it's it is not it i don't think it's got the nose for for neanderthal and the problem is looking at all these old slides i can't remember um what human species this actually is but it's not a homo sapien um and what what we've got there they've actually found um a foot bone at one of the phalanges um and this actually dates back to i i think the date stuff is actually coming up Ah right, yeah. This this is actually this was actually found. Um, um, I don't know if you've ever been to a place called um, Haysborough on the coast in Norfolk. Haysborough? No, I haven't. Yeah, they 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 found the the little bone which is eroded out of the cliff from Haysborough. Oh my bloody hell! That's amazing, isn't it? So so and and this 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 um, I can remember when my if my notes come up on this that um, yeah yeah th there there we go. Uh, if we could bring that up there, yeah. So, right, I think yeah. This is because what what there is that there's lot there's lots of stuff being eroded into the sea. You see, oh, up on the yeah. North, Norfolk coastline. So this is this is why we're getting remains like this, and then this this is this is showing due to the erosion that they got and what's being revealed. That that's um nineteen eight. That's nineteen ninety eight. Look um, at that coastal erosion. Yeah, and that's how much has happened in. Well, that's actually nine years. Yeah, you can you can see that house there, is that one there? Oh, I've seen this on the telly. Yeah. So so an so article about it. Mm. So so in, in other words, um, I don't think you could get insured. Somehow. No, no, you couldn't now. Not uh, no. those houses. The th the thing is, it, when it when it um, when when you um, the problem is when you uh, pay for your insurance, it's yearly, isn't it? Yep. They they usually ask the questions: Has anything changed? I.e. Um, yeah, um, yeah, like like my garden's gone. Right, we can't insure you. No. Be the same for people with flooding, won't it? Uh, yeah, it will. Um, there's that list of high flood areas. So, um, so this this is actually shown on the map there. Hang on, I can't get the. Hang on, get the thing up. Hang on a minute. Right, that that is. Um, oh my God, the house is gone. So uh, that that <laughs> that was in 2007, right? Oh, we've gone off on a complete tangent. We've got a. I, Basically, yeah, but coastal erosion is a big thing, isn't it? That's yeah, but coastal story. erosion is revealing, really revealing our ancestors' remains. And I think the whole point of this is because, yeah, the point of this is because of all that's been eroded away, right? 
if so you got that in 2007 yeah yeah and then it moves on to the footprints on the beach right because if we go there what what we've got is the um because all of this is being eroded away right what they're showing is on the muds um they're, they're basically all the top layers are being washed off and then it's showing that in in the surface of the muds that are being revealed it's showing actual footprints associated with that bone so that bone oh, itself human footprints oh my god human but, footprints in yeah, the mud yeah in the mud so so what what we're saying is that is that we've got human footprints going back 800,000 years ago which are being revealed but hang well, on a minute you said that the skull was not homo sapien no i don't think the skull's got anything to do with what we're doing this is a separate thing is it yes yeah. in a separate place yeah it's it's ended up in there do you know what i mean it's this uh, one of those red errands right Right. But I, be I believe the skull represents the type of person who would have made the footprint. I think that's why, and and the type of person who's who, the right the 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 skull. I think it, it's um, related to a homo um, homo habilis. Homo habilis. Homo habilis. Homo habilis. There's homo erectus and there's homo habilis. Right. So Homo erectus is the first upright man and Homo habilis is the one who actually starts. That That's where it comes from. So basically that's the link. So the skull, the bone and the images all to do with erosion to show that the surfaces that are being eroded are actually showing clays. So in other words, it's the clay, the footprint in the clay relates to the bone that you've seen, the foot bone relates to the skull. Got it? Well Oh, I'm totally confused now. Right, let's just go back, right? So a foot bone was found in Haysborough. Right, so, so there, where we go, we got the skull, which is which is the same type of person who would have had that foot, uh, that toe. That... But this isn't the, this skull doesn't belong to this foot. No, but that gives you an example. Right. Okay. So this makes sense now. Yes. So, so that's separate. Yeah, separate that's an example thing. of the that's an example of the skull of the person who would have had that toe bone. Um, because of the erosion, is revealing in the muds footprints that were made uh, by similar people who had toe bones like that. Yeah, okay. That leads into erosion, 2007. So you see that built... Now, see the building in 2007? Yeah. So as we move on a little bit then, it says cliff top. So by 2012, the building that you're seeing there is... Look, well... Uh, by two th no, actually, that's close line by 2012. So there we go. Look at that there. That's 2012. Yeah. By That's April. By May 2012, the house is gone. Whoa. Do you know, do you know what I would have done, right? I, I would have... I, if, if that was me, right... I, I would have said, I would say, look, Michelle, right, we're going to lose, we're going to lose our home, right? Let's just, um, let's just stop putting money into the house. Let's stop paying any mortgage or anything, right? And, and let's just find somewhere else and move because, it, you know, it's obvious that this is, this is going to happen. Unless you took it down brick by brick like they do at St. Fagans and moved it somewhere else. Wonder how that would affect your mortgage. Um, that would be a new build. Well, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. No, actually, it'd be a change. It would be a change of use. You, you could, you could actually, you could actually, actually, you could actually. Um, uh, no, no. Hang on. The mortgage company owns the land. So when you lose the land, right? The mortgage company don't own anything. Therefore, the mortgage is null and void. So if you took your house down and moved it brick by brick, uh, would the mortgage company own? But but the mortgage company owned, owned the site as well, so it, it that would be a bone of contention, wouldn't it? Yeah. So any, anyway, that that's that's basically. Um, I do believe that photograph has actually been taken from a lighthouse, and there's our Haysborough. Huh. I actually went to Haysborough a few years ago, right? And and actually, actually, mind mind me doing a little bit of um, 
trying to work out where we are a minute. Actually, actually, I think when we went to Haysborough, right, we actually went, you know that road by there? The road where the curse is on it, yeah? Yes. We went down that road and we looked down the coast and all these buildings, oh yeah, all these buildings were gone because we went down there in 2013. Wow. So that building wouldn't have been there because it was gone. And we, we found loads of uh, flint nodules on the beach. So ba basically, back in the day, um, th there there it is. It's showing that uh, I, I'm, I'm not happy with this plan because if this is showing, it, the, the, yeah, this, this might be showing the coastline around um, 7,000 years ago, um, which is after uh, Britain's been disconnected from Europe because that looks like Doggerland's been completely flooded at that point. Right. So basically, you see where that's East Anglia Craig Basin? Most of that land has been reclaimed. Wow. So in other words, what's happening is they're trying to they're trying to put sea defences up when the water's just going around. You know the old thing about the, the water finding its own level? Well, yes. Yeah. So that's that, interesting, yeah, because I, I was walking out in the rain today, which is how my phone got, must have got wet. And I was thinking about that. Water finds its own way, doesn't it? And its own level, yeah. So these are the types of flints that you can find along there. Really early. This is the earliest of the earliest stuff. This is this is like hundreds of thousands of years ago, 800,000 year old flints. Now, now the, these are actually made locally because... Um, Back then, that would have been nowhere near the coast. You can work out that that would have been, that would have well, been planned, wouldn't it? miles and miles away from the sea, right? That would, and basically all that stuff that that's based on is like glacial deposit, which is really soft stuff. And, and it's full of, it's full of flint like this, which naturally occurs in the really soft rock. So, and so basically you would have picked up all these nodules and this is actually showing this is actually showing um where you've got the really earliest prehistoric sites all these black things so all that there is actually doggerland where they've actually found where they've actually trolled up evidence from where doggerland used to be this is what europe used to look like about um 10,000 years ago that's incredible what's doggerland um don't ever say to Tom that you're going to go to Doggerland because he'll get um, upset. It's not. It's not the dogging spot in the um, North Sea. <laughs> Doggerland was the land that used to exist before eight thousand years ago, before it was completely flooded by. It looks like some kind of tsunami event. Further up north, but a lot more powerful than than the tsunami on our coastline on twentieth of January, sixteen oh six. Yeah. Basically, what happened because it was lots of low-lying areas. Yeah, have you ever um, have you ever filled up your glass and actually the water's actually above the glass? Yes. Because there's a little line. Yeah. If you went like this, the water would just um, fall out. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. That's exactly what we're talking about. And you know, have you, have you ever like had? Uh, Put a glass up on your desk, right? And and you've lifted it up, and there's like a puddle of water, and it's not moved. It's still in the same thing. Yeah. So if you like pushed it, it would all go everywhere. That's what we're talking about. This is how delicate that landscape was. Right. It it was it was on the edge, a bit a bit like Charlotte on the edge. <laughs> no, Charlotte's on the edge of of of, of uh, glory. Glory. She's on the edge of glory. She's on the edge of the Third Reich. I can on imagine. I can imagine uh, Charlotte in. In, in a uniform, uh, she could be a good um, Gestapo officer. Because <laughs> she would have been the ideal person to enlist, you see. Um, taken her from schools and stuff, and then she would have enlisted in the, into the Gestapo. Oh, that would have been awful, wouldn't it? Really? Oh, she, yeah, well, her and Stab yeah. would have had a wonderful house, and they would have had lots of money. Well, you're not doing too bad, but yeah. <laughs> she, she, would have, yeah. she would have ended up with a guy from Dexter. Is that what they used to do? Um, yeah. Like people... Blonde hair and blue eyes. Uh, yeah, well, they, they they would have been very popular. Yeah, they were. Oh. were there used to be this nonsense that the Germans were going to invade because the because the women having you know blue eyes and stuff. You know. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, um, happy days. I, I've, I've yeah. got where we are now. Happy days. Well, right. we are in Doggerland. Monday, Tuesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. La, 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 These days. Right, let's get back to what we're doing. Right, basically, this is the type of landscape you're talking about. These are the types of houses that would have lived off the coastline from Haysborough. No, not wrong. Would have left because Haysborough would have been quite high up, you see. So, so the land beyond that, this is what it looked like. And so that's the huts they'd live in, is it? Yeah, they, they, they would have lived in those types of building. They were they were standard build um, rectangular buildings that we got evidence at Hoyk up in Northumberland, but. Um, those are the types of things that we're talking about. This guy is actually, we're back to that original site at the beginning called Boxgrove. Okay. Can you see all the layers of Boxgrove that they're excavating? Many, many layers. Yeah, many, many layers. Many, many layers of our life. Like there the are many rivers to cross, yes. Uh, uh, like, like the circle in the circle. That was from that film Love Story, wasn't it? That the girl died of cancer. Oh, no, you're going to get me crying again. Yeah, it was. It was. The crying game. La, 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 la. In the crying game. La, 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 la. Anyway, so there they are. They've been excavating at Boxgrove for some years, actually, in Sussex, West Sussex. Do you know, I used to live in West Sussex as well. Um, anyway, this is there. You've been all over the place, haven't you? Um, what was I going to say? Now what, we've... Was the age of the person, who of the skull and, and of the bone, could they tell how old the About 800,000 years ago. Yeah, but, you so... know, when they died, what was their age? What, what sort uh, of age? Right, I, th I, th I think we're talking about in their 20s or their 30s, something like that, yeah. So, you, you know, by, by the age of 30, you'd be an old person, wouldn't you, back then? Well... Or would people I, I, live longer? Yeah, the problem is it's talking about birth mortality, right? Basically, if you have, um, like in the Victorian period, they used to say, oh, people only live till their bloody 40s in the Victorian period because of the conditions. Well, actually, that's not exactly true because if you look at Queen Victoria, right, she came to the throne in, um, in 1837. She died in 1901. She was about 20 years old and she, she was 80-odd when she died, right? Yeah. She was the queen. Look at all the pressure and stress that the queen's got, right? Yeah, but like, they've also like, got like a lot the... of looking after, haven't they? And good diet and all of that. Yeah, exactly. So like the queen today. So anyway, but the thing is, right, if you if you have tw if you have 10 children and eight of them die before the age of 5. Yeah. Right? But the two the two surviving live to about um actually let's do the maths on this, right? So if you if you do the average, right? This is how they calculate mortality, right? So you've got um, you've got ten children, right? You've got ten children, and um, on average, all of them died by the age of five, other than two, right? Yeah. So that means you've got to times eight times five, right? That's forty. Yes. Right, but you've got two children who both live till they're eighty, right? So that's eighty plus 80, right? That's 200 years altogether. If you divide that by 10... Right. Oh, fucking hell, I fucked up now, haven't I? Yeah, I can't That comes that. up with 128. Hang on, stop again. So we've got 40 plus 80 plus 80 divided by 10. 128, that's not right. Oh. Hang on a minute, that can't be right. Hang on. No, that's, this should be 20. Hang on, stop a minute. 200 divided by 10. No, that's... Yeah, that's right. 200. Actually, 200 divided by 10 gives out an average of 20 years. So, that, so that's right, that's right. So in other words, the average the average life expectancy for those ten children were twenty years old. Wow. So but really two of them lived till they were eighty. Do you see the problem with the child mortality figures? Yeah. 
Never was much good at maths, Carl. No, what I'm, what, no, what I'm, no, what I'm trying to say, right, if you've got eight children who all die at the age of five, yeah? Yeah. You've got two who die at the age of 80. If you, if you, if you forget those eight that died at the age of five, the average for those children who lived till they're 80 was 80 years old. So the, the average life expectancy of those two children that survived was 80, right? But if you throw in the life expectancy of those younger ones, it brings the life expectancies for that family to the year of 20 years old. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, so in other words, on average, in that family, you will die at the age of 20. Oh, bloody hell, that's not very good then, is it? So in other words, the figure, so in other words, it means that nobody in that family lived till the age of 80, but they did, two of them did. So in other words, trying to calculate the ages of people in the past is, is flawed. Yes. So, uh, uh, all right then, all right then, okay, um, okay, say, say I, um, my sister, my sister, uh, passed away with cancer at the age of 36, right? So she was 36. Say my say my um say my brother died when he was 80 and I died when I was 80, right? That's an av that's a total of 196, right? So in other words, right? The life expectancy of our, our three siblings is 65 years old. Right. So I'm expected to live 65 years when in fact I live till 80. Yes. My sister passed away when she was 36. Yeah, so it brought the odds down. Yes, it brought it brought it brings my odds of living to eighty down, when in fact, that was because of my sister passing away when she was thirty six. Yeah. Lesser. Yes. Lesser cotton socks. She was called Janine. Janine. Yeah. Janine. My, my dad. Janine. Janine. My dad called her Pugsley. <laughs> And anyway, so uh, right, we're now on the Doggerland, basically. Well, that makes you Wednesday then, doesn't it? That's Wednesday today. Look at that. Oh fucking hell! I don't know where I am now. Right. Anyway, so um, that that there, that there is basically the muds at Doggerland. So in other words, one minute we're working at Boxgrove, looking about four four hundred eighty thousand years ago. Now we're on Doggerland. Also, our human ancestors looking at about ten thousand years ago, and Doggerland was actually land, and they can actually you can actually see bits of charcoal and bits of bone, and that's all from a half. Basically, the end of the water there. Yeah. Some. Oh. It, some of these sites at Dogland are 100 metres below sea level. That's how much the water oh. level's risen. This is yeah. this is actually about 20 metres below sea level. So, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, you, we wouldn't get that far to 100 metres down, would we? No, you wouldn't, no. It's about... You wouldn't get that far down. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. So, base, basically, here we go. There it is. Good um, grief. There, there, there we go. Now, actually, this is wrong. This illustration's wrong because the sea is the Thank sea you. is nowhere near it. And actually, everything's wrong about this illustration. The thing is, they always draw our ancestors as having no clothes in the past, which I think is absolute bollocks. Well, unless it was really boiling. Yeah, exactly. You know, cause they, unless that's the Garden of Eden. Ah, uh, probably is. But the thing is, this this illustration is completely wrong. Whoever put this in the newspaper got it completely wrong, because there is no coastline in Norfolk. The coastline is about 70, 80 miles north. So in other words, they're excavating. They it's it's it's. Pre I used to think it was pronounced Happisburg, but it's pronounced Haysborough. What Haysborough? Like yeah. Haysborough, yeah. Haysborough, yeah. So, yeah, but looking at that, again, again, why the, f I gotta be honest with you, why have they got these illustrations so wrong? It really gets on my fucking neck. Your goat gets your goat. Yes, it um, does. Well, my goats are at the allotment, but it gets one. Yeah. So, are the people who live around that area today, are there any ancestors of these, you know, is there any way you can tell of their ancestors? Well, they're really weird in that neck of the woods, probably. 
Yeah, I've met people who live around there. Well, uh, one you, person, you, you don't go down a you don't go down a back lane several miles into nowhere, basically. <laughs> it's 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 like the um, it's it's like the League of Gentlemen. <laughs> You can come to our village, but you will never leave. <laughs> come and see my toads. Yes. A bit like Dennis Powers then, really. This is the only shop in the village. <laughs> Would you like some sweets? They're made for little children, made of little children. <laughs> Anyway, during the earliest periods of human occupation, the geography of Britain differed considerably different from this frigging plan, right? So the coastline was... I, I, no, no, I, 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 no, I can't go with that. No, sorry. Anyway, but we're, it's giving you an idea that... It gives an idea of what it was like, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, connect, connected to Britain. Tom would not have been able to sail the whole coast of Britain back then. No. Uh, has anyone ever sung the song, Listen, Major Tom to Ground Control? Oh, no, I've never associated that Listening song Listening to before. the way, and there's nothing no. left to say. What? I've never associated that song with him. Never. You never do now? Yeah. Yeah. So 80 flint tools were excavated from Site 3 at Haysborough. And there it is. Oh, when you speak to Charlotte, ask if um, young Stav is doing Saturday as well. All oh, right, then he should be. Yeah, good, 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 he good. He should good. be. Good, good. Saturday, Stavros. It was very awkward trying to do the Third Reich, having those two children, Tom, me, and, and, and then communism. Oh, Tom loved it. Yes, I'll have to call him down at the end so he can sing you his Russian song he's been practising. That's good. Um, da, 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 I think he's worked with some Ruskies. He had some hats as well, but he, he, I think they've been, they've gone now over the years. Yeah, I, I, I got my hat in the car. Among the finds are coarse flakes and flake tools with no evidence of hand axe manufacture. Many of the artifacts are fresh and unabraded, suggesting they were discarded at or near the site and that they have undergone very little. Basically, what they're saying, they were just discarded there and then and they were just left on the surface. So these are the types of things actually being eroded away from the landscape of Haysborough. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Why have we got to there? Oh, oh, um, oh no, that's the library. Yeah, we don't. We're, that suddenly the library that, was flame. That was last week, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, it, it was week before. Could week before. Been... So in other words, they, 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 what they're doing is that they're using various technology to see um, how these tools were actually being used, and it's talking about um, um, what their relationship was with um, their, their their uses and so on. And, and look at that there. That, that that's that that is actually the 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 bulb of percussion right what happens is as the as the piece of flint is napped right that that's the that's the entry point that that's the that's the scar that that's where the damage has occurred to actually get all the um flint chips off to actually use as tools yeah so wow imagine that imagine that and this is what they're finding all thanks to the coastal erosion, but obviously it's not all thanks to coastal erosion because people have lost their homes. But the oh, archaeology is the archaeology is being found. And lots of these flints, as you can see, they're they're talking about. Um, here we go. The stone scrape is dominated by large flakes. So these are really sharp flakes. Actually, do you know what they're using flint now to actually to use in um, optical surgery because it's so sharp and so fresh and clean. Well, that's good. That's good to know, isn't it? Yeah, they're using little bits of flint to sort of use in optical because they, they really cut well. And actually, sh um, flint remains sharp for a very long time. Well, that's 800,000 years, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So that, so instead of actually growing a patina on it, which actually stops it getting sharp, it, it, it very they can still be very, very sharp still. So with the coastal erosion that we have around here, are we likely to find remains of... Yes, uh, uh, well... Of yeah, yeah, we are, but our coastal erosion's a lot slighter. Oh, yeah, this is because this is like a massive. Yeah, this, this, the, our, our, where ours is actually solid rock, 
right where ours is like solid solid rock um theirs is really soft rock and there it is new discovery at haysborough and basically where where you've got lots of the um where, where you've got lots of the where you've got lots of the like coastal um do you know what i recognize that from the charles dickens film yeah, as he as he goes on the beach, yeah, as he goes on the beach in um, um, David Copperfield, right? Yes. A little building on I the beach. That. Yeah, that's David the one that, that reminds me of. Well, that would be when that was filmed in was the nineteen sixties. So in other words, the coast has, has eroded massively in in sixty years, right? Huge. Anyway, yeah. there, there, you those there in front of you are actually footprints, hundreds of them. They're all footprints. Past human footprints. Yes. Homo, homo habilis. Homo habilis, yes. Well, what, what I'm going to do is actually going to double check on one little bit of detail to make sure. Um, if, if, you can, if you can bear with me one second. Um, hang on a minute. Right, okay. Uh, just type something in. You're still seeing that on the screen, yeah? Yes. Okay. Uh. No 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 no. Not homosexual, homo habilis. Me and Stav just couldn't stop laughing. Stop. We couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> It, it was just it was just like yeah that skull that you saw is is basically a homo habilis type skull um so i just got to double check on another thing and right hang on um Yeah, it's uh, more it's likely to be a homo habilis rather than a homo erectus. Um homo erectus a species uh, species uh, no, actually, it's disagreeing with what I've just said. It's like more likely to be a Homo erectus. Oh. So change change your little notes to a Homo erectus rather than a Homo habilis. What's the difference in time scales with them? Do you well, know? actually, actually, there's talk that they lived on the planet at the same time, but same homo, time. homo habilis is a little bit before the evolution of Homo erectus, but there is a similar time span. There might have been a crossover. There might have been a crossover, so I could have been right in the first place. Because so little of the human remains of these ancestors have survived. Yeah. So obviously, they, they both, here we go, they both walked. It says, the discovery was made on the foreshore. Um, and what you've got is these hollows. Within two weeks, the prints had eroded away. So they had to record them straight away. But analysis of the digital images show... In some cases, the heel, so they made sort of prints of them. So, so the foot, so uh, measurements of the prints suggest that the heights of the individuals between nine and one point seven meters in height. And it's given, it's given the uh, Homo antecessor, which is um, a, a type of both Homo erectus and Homo habilis. From zero point nine meters to, so what, what, what's that in foot? Zero point. Oh yeah, nine. you're you're like me, basically. Um, nine. Uh, nine, not point nine is precisely th three foot. That's precisely three foot in height. So, like about the size of a monkey. Yeah. Um, or the one point seven meters in height is approximately. Um, so that I don't. Oh, I see. So adults and children. Yeah. 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 Adults and children. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I think I'm something 1.65 meters or something. I don't know. Yeah, M M Michelle's Michelle's just f uh, four foot high. 1.65 meters in feet. Yeah, that's it. 
So yeah. like five feet four. Yeah, so we yeah. What what? Right. Okay. One point six five meters is five foot four point nine. And there's there's a little bit of a scale uh, of the footprints before they all eroded away. I'm sure they would have taken one or two of them away as well, but, but they've yeah. obviously got... Well, that's a shame, isn't it? You'd have thought they'd have kept them all. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm thinking. Qualitative analysis of footprint dimensions was limited to 12 prints, where complete outlines could be clearly identified. So, in other words, um, they're, they're saying that probably the, 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 there's little a child's one on the left and more adult ones on the right. Good, amazing. All, all wandering around the mud. As you do. Well, as you do, as you do, you know. Down the old down the old harbour, which is called Pooey Bay. <laughs> um, there you go. They, what they're saying is, is that out of, out of there, they've got 12 identifiable dis different people from those prints. Yeah, from there? Yeah. And then what you've got then is you've got, basically, it's showing you that obviously you've got... Um, it's, it's probably indicating that these are more likely female and the ones at the top are more likely male. Okay. Because they're bigger. Well, men, men's feet are usually bigger than women, but actually some women have got massive feet. Yes. Michelle's so. feet are so small, I think she's a monkey. Oh. She whinges like one as well, but I can't say that. Right, here's, here's actually here's actually a um, a three D model of footprint. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, what would have happened? It would have been a hot day or something, is it? And that's how these have been. Oh, uh, it's ba here. basic. Basically, what's happened? It it's um, it it, it it's a summer day. No, actually, no, because that would create cracking. So it was a mildly okay day, right? And because summer day might create cracking. So it was a mildly okay day. Uh, the, the tide is way out. It's, it's way out more than usual, right? Right. People are wandering around in the mud. A whole family wandering around, whatever, a whole group of people chatting, talking on the beach, right? They've gone fishing or something. And then... What's happened is the water slowly come in. This is really important detail. The water has slowly come in, right? And it, it's actually filled the prints. Uh, yeah. With 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 with, with um, uh, with with silt, right? And then basically uh, that silted up again. Now, as I'm saying, this is far away from the sea, and uh, this is actually likely to be some kind of a muddy lake. Yeah. Rather than the sea. If it was the sea, it, it would have probably washed them away straight away. You're not going to get this with the sea. So no, the, so this is going to be a lake. Yeah, it's going to be a lake. So it is the summer. The water seems to have gone out for whatever reason. Um, and um, or, or maybe what's happened, it's a really dry summer. And then suddenly, um, as the rains come down, the silt start to rise in the water and sort of silt it up, and then they're covered forever. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. You can get 3D printers to do that now. Um, and th there you go. Another photograph of a footprint. This is quite a large one, actually. You can you can clearly see the heel there, the little toes. And it looks like they got some people... A big, have a, a big toe, isn't it? You've got, a, you've got a big... No, you you sometimes, right? Some people's feet, right? And the anathol characteristic is that you've got one toe, right, like me, that overlaps. I've got a toe that overlaps my big toe, right? Right. That's what's happening there. But these are not Neanderthals. Or using Evans' words, they're not homosexuals either. <laughs> <laughs> well, they might be, don't know. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. No. Me and Tom think it's perfectly normal. Look at that there. We're talking about we're talking about a really well shaped axe from about. Uh, look at the look at the quality of that. Incredible. It would have it probably would have been hafted. So basically, you would have had a wooden shaft. Um, yeah. Or it could have actually just been thrown like that. It, it, it this in in a in a in a in a wooden uh, in a wooden a, a leather hand a, a leather. Um, a leather glove or something like that 
yeah. um, a gauntlet, a gauntlet of some kind, and then you chuck it, and then that that would that would be quite effective. That 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 would that would that would kill lots of things. So so there you go. What you can see, you can see there all the coastline of Haysbury completely gone. Yeah. That that's what they're talking about the erosion. And so this was many many layers down. This was many many layers down. Yeah. So those layers have built up over hundreds of thousands of years to build the land above. So again. Yeah, that that's proof again that this is above sea level, and this yeah. is way inland, right? And then what you've got is that um, now the sea has taken it back. Incredible, absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, do you know what? I I um I used to have a Czechoslovakian friend. Oh God. <laughs> oh God, we don't talk you about it. Do. It's about the um word. <laughs> No, that's what she used to say. She used to say amazing. <laughs> uh, she used to she used to be she used to be a number one fan as well. But um Oh the... no no no. I saw Owen yesterday at his house he was and he lives up the road from me. Yeah. Did he mention yeah. me again? Well he was over the road he was and he, he jumped up and down and waved and said good evening. And so I did the same back. Oh good. Yes. You can only have one biggest fan, and he's it. Yeah, but before him, I had this other big fan. Whoa, there was a before Owen. Well, there there, there, there can be a before Owen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be. Um, right, move, moving on. And yeah, again, that sort of that that's. Um... So when they've got the Thames River there, that's nowadays not not the old days is it um well obviously they didn't have a thames river back then but the, the thames had been there um it's looking at the courses the rivers have obviously changed from that yeah the thames instead of going north of um reading um it seems to go um westwards right by the looks of it and it's Ooh. showing it's showing lots of these um where they're pro producing hand axes and um yeah on, on this plan as well so so would they be nomadic um yeah that that one i, I gotta be honest with you I, I, if it gets to winter right you're just gonna die do you know what I mean? If you don't have any clothes on, you're just going to die. Well, I don't know what the, the temperature was then. Um, um, much below freezing. Um, if you go, it's going to be, put it this way, right? It's all, put it this way. Um, no matter what way you look at it, there's always been a minus degrees temperature. And if you, you want to stand outside completely stark naked, go ahead, right? But you're not going to live long. No. Maybe the, the the man who did this is a naturist. Uh, yeah, it just this just doesn't work. It does it it, and obviously the other thing as well is if you're napping really sharp flint, right? You can work it out. I don't need me to work that one out. It did. No. I don't like it. I, it it doesn't. It almost makes it almost makes as if the our ancestors were completely, yeah. Naked. <laughs> That's what they were. And this maybe is he the... couldn't draw the clothes. Yes, maybe maybe couldn't go. Yeah, that's right. He couldn't draw clothes. So this is the excavation of Box Grove. They've been excavating there for many many years, and obviously, they're they're finding uh, they're finding bits of bone and and lots of flint over. So this dates back to four hundred eighty thousand years ago. But our site at Haysborough dates back to eight hundred thousand years ago. What? what, what? I don't understand that last picture, sorry. The Basically what they've got, those are the excavation trenches. Right. That that okay. that, that is the excavation at Box Grove Quarry. Right? So they they've made the trenches and they're looking in those yeah. certain areas at what's there. Okay. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's not the foundations of No, no, no. And what they're actually no. finding at Box Grove, they're actually finding 
that at Boxgrove there was a freshwater lake and hang on a minute, hang on at Boxgrove there was a freshwater lake and they're actually finding um the the evidence of um slindon silk um the, these are actually these are actually um living organisms so you imagine they've eaten or no these living organisms are um are the type of things that live under your fingernails oh god these are tri- it says there. yeah that's right that's right that's right fauna yeah living rather than flora fauna living living little creatures right and that there if we go all the way to the beginning right um that that there is um uh, yeah Heidelbergenis. Heidelbergensis. Now, that, that is from Boxgrove. The species at Boxgrove, which was identified, was Homo heidelbergensis, which is a new evolution of species that is the gap between um, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, um, Homo antecessor, and Homo sapien, and Homo sapien Neanderthals. So this is the, this is the one in the middle, Heidelbergensis, apparently. And this was found in 1993. It is the oldest human bone found in the UK up until that point. But we've got that that um, phalange bone that was found actually at Haysborough, dating to 800,000 years ago. Yes. So this is a 500,000. Well, so no. So uh, not the oldest bone in Britain then. No, but this was found in 1993. The one at Haysborough was found in the past decade. Oh, Okay. So that that that's 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 basically why. Um, I'm just going to take one little detail to make sure I get that right. Human toe bone. Um, so. Yeah, the, the, actually, the Haysborough stuff, they're going back with an earlier date. I, I, I think I can remember this when I did it. I think they, they remember saying it, that the, the evidence wasn't 800,000 years ago. It was more like a million years ago. Good God. So, so that's, that's double the age of this bone. How would it, so it lasted just by being preserved in the silt? And yes, 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 and- yes. And on that note, that's the last image. Um, a million years. Wow, that went very quick. Well, no, in fact, we've been doing it an hour. Wow, well, there we uh, are. Time uh, flies when you're having fun. That's that's life in the in our country. And you're learning all about Homo Heidelbergenis. Heidelbergenis. Heidelbergensis. 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 Bergensis, idle Bergensis, come back to my heart, I need you. <laughs> yes, marvellous. M- mar- marvellous. Um, I-, I know I know you- you're going to have to go in a minute to speak to Charlotte. Yes. Sh- yes. Sh- Charlotte will be, Charlotte will be saying, Mummy, Mum, <laughs> um, Stav has got a girlfriend and I can't cope oh. with it. Tad Stav start kissing girls, man. What do I do? I just let him go, man. Just let him flow. Uh, those days are to come. All, it's all the those days are all. La, 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 la. Boom, boom, boom. Those days are all. Oh, the Monday, fun, Tuesday, right? happy days. Friday. Yeah, that's right. Okay, those now, on that. Days, they? Those were the days. Those hey. were the days, my friend. <laughs> those were the days. Oh, they, we also do this on a Saturday. Cousin it now, not your <laughs> takeaway Wednesday, your, your cousin it. Yeah, Evan can't do it because he hasn't got my chair. Stav can. Right, on that note, are yeah, there any questions? Pardon? Are there any questions? No. I think we've got Home and Heidel Bagentis. I think I've got that assessed now. Good. The gap. Um, no, no, no. Okay, good. More okay. questions. Well, on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. And, Thank you uh, very much, Carl. Oh, don't forget to put the money in, otherwise we'll send over the lads. Okay. 
Um, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Get my love to share. If you curious messages coming through, let me know because I'll I'll I've learned how to remove them. Right. Um. Uh. Yeah. I've oh, left right. left one on. I think. Yeah, I, I've got it now. It says, uh, "Rosamond unsent all those messages." Except. Yes. It must have just gone through. I got a guy raising a massive flag. It's huge. That's my nephew. He works for the security at the Swiss Embassy in Bern, and he was raising the flag on St David's Day. All oh, right, excellent, nice. Yeah, so I was flying it in Bern. Yeah, Switzerland. Is in Bern. Ah, oh, they also speak German now on the uh, Deutschland. They do actually. I think German's the national language. One of the, yeah, there? he's Swiss German. He speaks Swiss German. Ah, Swiss German. Swiss. Um, don't you invade Poland? I'm right anyway. Okay, on that. Your um, age actually, yeah, it's about 1970 something. He was born. Yeah, anyway, there we are. Um, yes, that's that's great. Thanks very much, Carl. Okay, brilliant. And um, speak again soon. You've got, speak yeah, if you've got got any jobs for me? Let me know. Ah, uh, yeah, they will be coming. And uh, by the way, Jessica hasn't had the fleece yet. She hasn't. No. What do you want me to do about that? I'm, I'm, I'm joking with you. I had a big smile on my face. She's got it. Oh, thank God for that. I think that's weeks ago now. It's well in the past. Um, it's well in the past. Oh, no, no. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Okay. Oh. Cool. I'll keep the receipts, though, in case you need them for your tax purposes. Oh, I'll keep them anyway, just in case. They're, yeah, just in case. There's somebody accuse you of sending drugs in the post. Oh, right. <laughs> Yes. All right then. Cool. Thanks very much, Carl. Very my, informative. My pleasure, and uh, I will. I will see you soon. All righty. Hoyle. Hoyle. Anyway, that's a good one. Diochen varachi. Bye. Hello. Well done. Give my love to everyone. I will. See you. Bye. 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 La 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 la. Ah, that's good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Quite bizarre, as usual.